You know, I was talking to uh, one of my really good friends today named Hassani, and we were kind of discussing the difference of how certain people get stuff done and then how they don't, like why some people achieve certain things and then why some people hold fast to what they say. And I was talking to him about, you know, my understanding of the difference between somebody who's committed to a thing and somebody who's truly convicted of a thing. When I say convicted, I mean like I don't drink. I haven't drunk in, in a long time. I have a stark conviction in my mind that I, I will not drink. Like I don't, that's like me like giving a blowjob to a dude in the alley. Like I won't ever do that shit, ever. And I recognize that some people fall short on the things that they say they're committed to because they aren't really at a level of stark, sheer conviction about this must happen or this must never happen again. And I find that until people come to the that point in their life, they never really achieve shit because you can stop or you can fall short on a commitment. But there are certain things that you're 100%, you have 100% conviction about that you'll never fall short on those things. They just become the holy gospel to you. And until you decide to create a higher level of things that you are convicted about, whether it's to have them or to never experience them again, you may continue to fall short on your commitments. That's just what it is. And we see it over and over again. So take a look at some of the areas where you are just committed to. It feels good to tell everybody, I'm, oh, I'm committed. I'm going to get this shit done. And then take a real look at the things that you are 100% convicted about. You have a sheer conviction that this is something that will or won't ever happen to me. I don't give a shit what goes on. That's not where I bend. When you do that, you'll find that your level of conviction and your opportunity to commit is much easier. And then you have exactly what you said you will. All right, man. Work with that. Uh, don't let that shit slip. Let that soak in, man. Be real about it. All right, man. Let's talk soon. Vic.